married, did you do anything that romantic when you got married? How Hell did you... no. No. As a matter of fact, Ellen, I was really moved by that whole thing, you know? I mean, guys sometimes don't get touched emotionally by a proposal. Um, I've had a lot of them on stage, like during a concert, people come up to me before and say, can I propose to my wife during the show? In my heart saying, no, because that's really corny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the showbiz in me, uh -huh. the, the sellout in me says, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, you know, a lot of times, not to be chauvinistic or stereotypical, but a lot of times women seem to be a little bit more moved than men uh, with things of that nature. So as I was watching, I was particularly touched by it. And, uh, well, I don't really know how else to do this, but I was thinking about my relationship with my wife and, well... But I mean, this, is it because we're on the air? Yeah, don't. <laughs> that uh, kind of changes the whole <laughs> the whole dynamic. Now is a little different than I thought. I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it would have been messed up when I got home. Uh huh. Yeah. But like but right now, I live up. for the moment. Yeah, you got caught I, up in the moment. Yeah, I figure we're both from New Orleans. Yeah. We both, you know. We have a lot in common. We do so, have a lot in common. Yeah. I thought it might work. I, I really yeah. like you a lot. Well. <laughs> I just not, messed up to say no. I'm, I mean, you could have said yes, and then we could have worked the other part out uh, later. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Late. You know what? If situation were different, I, I would say yes, because you're, you're just quite a catch. You're adorable. And oh, you're, you're smart. So you're sweet. funny. You really are. And you're a doctor. I'm a doctor. That's right. The last time Ellen and I were together was in New Orleans. I was presented with an honorary doctorate, which is at Tulane University, which it, my, my, my parents went to Tulane. And it was really cool to have you there, being from there. And uh, you gave the commencement speech brilliantly, I might add. And I came away with a doctorate. And I'm thinking, well, What does that do for you now? It does a lot. Really? Oh, yeah. I can operate on people. Oh. <laughs> I don't think. Really? If I wanted to. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I can write my own scripts. Oh. So if I need something, I can be my own Colonel Parker. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you write your own prescriptions. That's yeah. Great. My sister is a doctor, uh -huh. and you know, if I needed some some kind of you know you know addictive medication, some narcotics, uh -huh. I call her. Uh huh. And she would tell me no. Uh huh. So now. You're I'm a, a doctor. You're a doctor. I'm a doctor. You don't, need, you don't need her anymore. I don't need her. No. I don't need you. Oh. I don't need anybody. You just wanted me. What happened? I wanted you until you shot me down on oh. national television. Oh. <laughs> Let's just go. We're going to keep it real. Let's keep it real. All right. Well, well then let's keep it real. What happened to your throwing arm? That was the most pathetic. <laughs> Dunk tank. You were, you broke our record. You took longer than anyone ever in the history of the show. 23. There's so many different ways to address this. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I'm a man. You can't have me throwing pink softballs. I know you're touring for your CD, and clearly you've not had enough sleep. Is that the problem? You know, it is a problem. I just got back from, from I was in Australia and Hong Kong and London. And I'm very worldly. I'm very rich, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, It's, it's sort of a celebrity thing, really. Talk among yourself. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> but I was, you know, I get jet lag and stuff, you know, like we all do. And I came back and, you know, I, I try to get my normal amount of sleep every night. But the girl, I love is, to sleep. What is a normal amount of sleep for you? Anywhere from 8 to 14 hours a night. <laughs> but it, it's in stages. No, no, no. I don't do it all in one fell swoop. Like, I'll sleep until 6.30. I bring my girls to school. You know, I make them a little breakfast. And then I come back and I'll kick another six hours. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> how, how do you have time to do anything? How can you sleep that much? Because I work very intensively when I work. Uh -huh. Like, I can get 10 hours of work done in 20 minutes. <laughs> and that's where the pharmaceutical reference comes All right, in. I was... That's what I think you're under right now.